YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name's Roger. I own a company called QVO Tactical, where we make holsters and gear, and also film content for this channel. We are here, industry day at the range, SHOT Show 2020. Lots of stuff for us to shoot, lots of free ammo for us to shoot. So we wanna bring you everything that we find that's new and exciting, and out here on the industry day. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, I'm here with Ben from Flux Defense. You guys definitely know who they are if you've seen our video. I'm sure you have. Uh, I love the Flux setup. But they have their, their new hotness, and Ben's gonna give us a run. This is the MP17. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got several different variations. We've got a sling mount right here, and then a non reciprocating optic mount. We've also got, uh, your, so you've got your optic right there, and then you've got your irons uh, right below. There. It's uh, got our auto repair feature, as always and uh, a level two holster with a thumb retention right here that works with practically any lighter laser built for pistol as well as suppressors. And it allows you for a nice, quick, easy nice. draw. But, uh, and so consumer, all they're gonna need to buy is pretty much the slide and all the assembly that goes yeah, inside so the internals. You need basically three assemblies. You need the slide assembly, you need the, the trigger assembly, the fire control unit, and then the, the magazine release assembly. Um, so it'll ship with over. brace, the, yeah, so the rear portion, yeah, and the grip module. Basically the whole frame, and then the brace, the optic mount. But uh, yeah. And I'm, my understanding is you guys can't keep them on the shelf. Yeah. That's yeah. Not, that's, 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 that's our biggest problem, man. We're, we're trying to, that's like our, right now, our biggest priority is trying to fill orders and, and increase production capacity. We just doubled our production capacity. So it, I'm, I'm hoping that'll, uh, that'll make a difference. What's lead time looking like right now? Uh, about 10 weeks. Okay. About 10, 12 weeks. But uh, yeah, and right now like we're sold out in most areas. That's a good problem. We, yeah, we're man. trying to catch up before we sell anymore for sure. All right, let's get the guy shooting it. Cool, man. All right. Cool. <laughs> this sweet, dude. You hit it? What do you think? It's pretty smooth, man. Yeah. 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 Without a comp, with a comp, it's like it's like it's smoother than a we think, John? Pretty sweet. that? Dude. Try that with a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here with Cody from Walther, and he's gonna kind of give us a quick rundown on the new Q4 steel frame. Yeah, man, we're really, really excited to get this out. We took what was kind of, yeah. took the industry by storm last year, which was the Q5 yeah, steel definitely. frame, and uh, wanted to make a really high performance concealed carry gun. Uh, so we actually reduced it in size, four inch barrel, more like the standard PPQ M2, uh, but we actually took that beaver tail, and rounded it off where it fits in level three duty holes awesome. a little better. So you're thinking about the long force right? great. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, exactly, then too, it's a little better for uh, appendix carry when you kind of bend over. Dad bod, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. so we got two options on it though, iron sight only, uh, MSRP at $12.99, and then we got an optics ready platform at $13.99. Okay. Uh, so like I said, this is for the guy that wants every bit of performance possible as a concealed carry gun. With so. modular options. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. Dude, sweet. All right, we'll go shoot this thing. Yeah, Thank definitely. you, Cody. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks. Think it's gonna replace your other one? 
could, it could. A little heavier, but she's good. I like how heavy it feels. That's been like the thing this year, the all steel frame. What's going on guys? We are here with Derek from H&K. He's going to give us a quick rundown on the new SP5. Derek, take it away. Hey everyone. New for this year, we've got the full-size pistol variant SP5. Here at Shot, Day, Shot Show Media Day, we've got these as set up as SBRs. This one has the H&K A2 stock on it. Let me walk you through the uh, SP5 here. Operation wise, again, it comes as a pistol. So the stock will not be on the gun. This has to be SBR to be in this format. But it comes with an ambidextrous, fully ambidextrous pistol pack. It comes already with the paddle mag release. It comes with a cold hammer forge, German threaded three lug barrel. The threading is half by 28, so it will accommodate the popular thread for suppressors. The SP5 also ships with the MP5F bolt carrier group. This is the standard on the police contract. This is a heavy duty gun, very nice gun. So, HK SP5 for the win, the real deal in 2020. Okay, gotcha. Well done. Hi guys. We got one without a red dot, one with. So most people find that while the A2 stock looks cooler, most people find the A2 stock up. On the same thing. Man. So glad you guys are making these. <laughs> we are too. <laughs> What's going on guys? We are here at the STI booth for their industry day with Tony and this Tony, that guy right there. You see the big picture there? Yeah, That's you, that's you. Where'd he go? <laughs> nice. We are here shooting all of their ammo, a lot of it, like what, 25,000 rounds? We've already gone through 25,000. I just went and bought 7,000 more up at the, up at the- Yeah uh, man, it's a good day. At the pro shop. So we're out there shooting everything. You guys will see all the B-roll obviously, but uh, last year they had you said one new product this year. Drop seven, right? Seven. Let's let's talk we about it. We shook the whole we <laughs> shook the whole etch and sketch and started over. So, uh, you know, one of the things that we did this year is. We first introduced last year guns that were really oriented towards the tactical professional. Sure. You know, uh, whether it's a firearms instructor or a professional in duty or an attached or an operational carry. Uh, we've got just close to 3,000 officers right now. We've got a bunch of different departments that our platforms approved for you. My old department, Las Vegas Metro, is yeah. running them now. Absolutely. Awesome. And then also in the personal defense, you know, there's. Probably besides it, you know, and, and it's they're probably equally uh, equally as important. But your concealed carry gun could be the most important gun you own. Definitely. You know, you've ever had this conversation with you know somebody who's into into guns like, hey man, what's your favorite gun? They're like, oh man, I got this single stack that I had made this handmade gun. <laughs> and uh, and then next thing you find out is that that handmade gun. You ask them what they carry, they're like, oh, I got this little Keltec. Uh, it's a it's called a Keltec uh, micro needle, and I carry it in a sock holster. What about that? Oh, that's my yeah, range. Exactly. That's my range. Man. Is, well, I got the you. thing about it is people are saying that, God forbid, you should have to draw your defensive handgun in a gunfight because there's two things you don't want to find out in a gunfight. You suck or your gun sucks. Agreed. So we, when we first started making staccato scene, which we introduced last year, and we introduced it flat out as the world's best shooting carry gun. Why? Because we base it on what has been absolutely proven as the world's best shooting handgun, which is the 2011. You know, we've, if you look at a measurable comparison, how do you compare, you know, well, we've won everything sure. in the okay. competitive space for 25 years. So how do we, and what we've done the last half of 2019 and into 2020, how do we take that and the things that matter, when, when the clock is your life, when seconds mean you get a second chance, sure. how do we take all that technology and how do we put it into a personal, well, we've got to make sure that it's dependable. Now our guns have always been dependable. We had to make sure they're dependable. Because now, if I have you know a slight malfunction on a cardboard, the only thing I'm gonna get on is a paper cut. 
know, I'm not, you know, targeting a match. But when it happens in a gunfight or it happens in an operational situation or a personal defense situation, people could die. So Agreed. we really wanted to reinforce and make sure. And we started sending our guns out and letting people run them, uh, letting departments run them, letting officers run them. And, of course, the feedback comes back and they're like, hey, man. Uh, again, a gunfight gun, it's fast, it's flat, the triggers are amazing, you know, dependability, high round count. Really they cool they all know from my channel, I'm a big oh, man. Oh yeah, obviously, <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, I, I've watched, yeah, yeah. watched a bunch of videos as well. So yeah, they're just, it's easier to shoot, and that's the whole ticket. So breakdown, I know one of the questions that a lot of our, our, our subscribers have had, they know that one of my favorite guns, DVCP. That's like, right. well, I love just, just the breeze, it's like, it's, it's amazing to shoot. So it's been now made into the Staccato X see mm -hmm. so any differences any like what are like for me i just shot it and honestly in a good way it felt the same which to me is what i wanted right like i was i was worried like everybody's asking well we know they came out the staccato lineup that way law enforcement guys could purchase them and use them for duty use, make them a little more affordable so they were worried with me included was was that going to sacrifice the the fine tuning and the hand fitment which from what i can tell i mean we're still was, a hand built gun yeah um, one of the things that, you know, people the people immediately associate the fact that we come up with a staccato, that it's a cheaper version of our DVC. You know, what we've done is we've streamlined the manufacturing process. Okay. Anybody who knows anything about manufacturing, time, time is money. What we've Set. done, if you look at our cocky serrations, if you look at our guns right now, they're very utilitarian. You know, our cocky serrations are a bullet groove. They're not, we don't have 7,000 different cuts. We went straight to functionality and performance. How can I remove the right amount of weight from the slide without compromising the integrity of the slide? How can I make it functional so that I can get at it, whether it's in gloves, adverse environments, competition, tactical, or defense? All those things, and then we streamline the process. I mean, right now, we're doing match barrel fits in five and a half minutes. We have streamlined the process, and we are still, you come to our plant, you, you, grab your stuff, you, come to our plant, you're gonna walk in our plant, you're gonna still see 30 little gunmaker elves cobbled nice. away. We are still a hand-built gun company. Awesome. We just do it faster and we do it better. That answers the question. That's so, it. everybody out there wondering about the grips and about all that stuff, about the DVCP and the XC, I can tell you now, I shot it. It's amazing, just like when I shot the review on it. Um, that is like one of my favorite. Like, I wish that was around. I wish when I when I got the department, like I ran TRB operated because that's what was allowed, but that was sure. 2002. It's like now, like I go and train up with the guys at Metro, and like, yeah, we got, we're allowed to carry staccatos now. I'm like, I, I have that five inch model I was telling you about. Love it. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you, you for taking it. the Thank time. You, I'll see you later this week. You got it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it feels very similar. That's cool. Hopefully he's got some support this year. He only has a few. He threw some passes like you wouldn't have made that pass. So that's going to wrap up Industry Day at the Range for SHOT Show 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. We will do our best to get this uploaded tonight or early tomorrow morning. We want to get you guys that consistent daily footage throughout this week. If you did like the video, please give us a thumbs up down below as that does help us out a lot. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as we post new videos every week. If you want to support our content, please check out the Patreon link down below. Our Patreon squad gets early access to new content, new gear, discounts, and contests that we do every month. And other than that, guys, I appreciate you checking out the video, and I will see you in the next one.